Howdy everyone, Mr. Kazi here with another problem of the week and let's get started. This week you're going to need your calculator, so make sure you get one out. I use the TI-84 and let's look at today's problem. We have this chemical equation and you want to make sure it's balanced and for the part one we want to know how many moles of magnesium chloride would be used up if eight moles of aluminum chloride were produced. Now working with a problem like this it's all about moles so all you need to do is work with the mole ratio. Now if you're not sure what mole ratios are go back to my channel you can go to mrkazi.com or you can go to your uh, chemcoach.com uh, and get to my YouTube and at my YouTube find the mole ratios and Avogadro's number videos and watch them and learn about mole ratios. So let's go to the magic blackboard and let's write out our equation. Now that's a chemical equation. It consists of chemical formulas. And there's our uh, moles of magnesium chloride. And there's our moles of aluminum chloride. And we see that our mole ratio is uh, 3 to 2 or 2 to 3, depending on what we need to cancel out. Now, let's look at the equation. It says to start with 8 moles of aluminum chloride. So, write that down. And then multiply that by the mole ratio. And the mole ratio that we want to use is the 3 to 2 because we want aluminum chloride to cancel out. And that will leave us with magnesium chloride. Now, let's go through and cancel out 2 and 8 because that will give us 4. That's just a little bit of reducing. And then 4 times 3 is 12 moles of magnesium chloride. And we've got it. 8 moles of aluminum chloride will come from 12 moles of magnesium chloride. Let's look at part two. How many moles of magnesium sulfide are produced in 1.4 moles of aluminum sulfide? Or if uh, 1.4 moles of aluminum sulfide are consumed. Again, it's the mole ratio. And so uh, making sure that everything's balanced, which we already have. Let's go to the magic blackboard and get the mole ratio for this second part. And we have 1 to 3. And the mole ratio is going to be 1 to 3 or 3 to 1. Okay, and it depends on what we want to cancel out. Let's do the equation. The equation, we're going to have 1.4 moles of aluminum sulfide. And we'll multiply it by 3 over 1 because we want aluminum sulfide to cancel out. Now, if I wanted magnesium sulfide to cancel out, I would just flip it over. And that equals 4.12 moles of magnesium sulfide. Not bad. The big key to this whole thing right here was using mole ratio. And uh, that's it. All right. If you have any questions, be sure to send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. And remember to check out mrkazi'sworld.com for PowerPoint videos and much, much more. And of course, you can uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to do that. Studies have shown that it increases your IQ. All right, everyone. Happy Island.